Hey guys, it's Will. Welcome back to another episode and our last episode of our Road to Master here in Season 7. I'll be doing it again next season, but for today you're going to find out whether or not I hit the Master tier. Uh, we're starting things off at Diamond 1, 30 LP. So I've been spamming a crap ton of Zin Zhao to try and climb, abuse Zin to get some Master tier, uh, and he's served me pretty well, but... When he gets banned, uh, my other champions aren't really as good. So I'm playing some Lee Sin and I kind of <laughs> forgot, I guess, how to play Lee Sin a little bit. I mean, I can still make him work, of course. I mean, this early game's not going terribly for us, so it's cool. It's just I'm um, not quite as sexy on Lee Sin as I used to be. Getting baited there by Nidhi Flash feels bad, man. And this game goes into, like, hyper late game here as well, as you can see. There's like 100 kills in this game almost, and I thought I had to kill Nidley there as well, but she gets uh, locket shield or whatever the bloody hell that was and jumps away. Uh, our Caitlyn here is tilting the crap out of me, flaming people uh, for playing poorly, and then had the worst positioning in the history of mankind. I shouldn't have pinged her there though, by the way. That's just pure frustration. Uh, there's, so there's something about people who complain and whine, and then who are guilty of doing the exact same things themselves. It's, it's my pet peeve, it puts me on edge. Anyway, I did have a bit of an issue, uh, a bit of a frustrating situation here with AD carries who weren't really able to carry as much as they should have done, really. But that's okay, because whatever, all you got to focus on is what you can do to do better. So we're playing some John Man, the top lane. Honestly, I don't want to show you guys this gameplay, because holy shit. This is probably the worst game I think I've ever played in my life. Just... Yeah, I, 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 this is my first time playing Javan top, and I'm playing versus a Diamond 1 Master Tier top laner. <laughs> Look at my face. Man, this is painful. I, I just thought I could do a lot more than I could, basically. I mean, he just destroyed me. I, I just wasn't expecting to get destroyed this hard. I mean, I've never played versus Trigger top, like, li li literally never played versus it. And it's just... I thought I would be safe picking Javan because I can play Javan. I was extremely wrong and I just died over and over and over and over and over and we lost in 16 minutes I mean I was 0 and 5 in 16 minutes but then again if you lose at 15 minutes uh, it, yeah obviously on there's there's a few things going wrong there we'll put it that way so our whole team had a bit of a blinder there but my god that was probably the worst I'll ever perform in, in solo queue L legit I probably could have gone AFK and, and, and had a better game there so back to some more Zin Zhao abuse right here. I love Zin so much. I always get early game pressure on Zin. The path of uh, buff, wolf, buff, gank, slash invade pretty much nets me first blood, I would say, almost every single game. Uh, there, I, I had like a almost a 10 game streak where I got first blood every single game. The only times I wouldn't get first blood was when bot lane would die because of the like level 2, level 1 like power spike thingy if that makes sense you know where you rush to get level two and kill the opponent who's level one but yeah outside of that people often question my build on zin where i go war enchant triforce because they prefer war enchant black cleaver black cleaver is fine on zin Zhao, but triforce for me it just gives you so much damage and i, I love that and if you want to learn how to play him for team fights it doesn't make you very squishy just Play around your ultimate, that's all you've got to do. So, another Zin Zhao game. If you guys don't like watching Zin, you guys are going to be sorely disappointed watching me play this series. <laughs> Holy moly. Uh, again, I did the, the same path there. Red buff, walls, blue buff, invade. Uh, but I went for a bit of a cheeky pathing here. Where I go for the... Uh, like, sitting in that bush waiting for him. And it works. We get him. Beautiful stuff. First blood going down. We have two kills as a team. And I'm 2-0-0. Zero, and zero. Going for a bot lane play here, because look at this, look at that play, disgusting. And look at this play, by the way, also disgusting. I'm just, if you know how to play Zin, I mean, even if you don't know how to play him, I just, a two of you on there, and I, like honestly, I'm just, a, I'm just a machine. I have six kills, and I think I had seven at that point. Like, I really want to win this game. Can you tell? Can you guys tell that I want to get master tier? Anyway. You are squishy when you're playing Zin, so just play around your ultimate, try and get some stuff going down there. I got absolutely blasted right there, because, you know, Cho'Gath is Cho'Gath. Uh, but, if your jungler, me, is having a good game, then usually it means that the rest of your team 
has to be having at least a decent game because your jungle is popping off, influencing the whole game. And as it turned out, this game that was sort of the case, and Jax was able to just <laughs> I don't know what he's doing, just backdooring, basically, just opens up that back door and saunters on through. So we win this one as well. Now I don't know if you guys are taking note here of my LP gains, but they're not particularly high. Especially the higher in D1 I get. Which is, ooh, four honors, look at that, beautiful stuff. <laughs> Once I get to like 50 LP and higher, uh, I was getting around plus 14. I think we'll probably see a bit of that today, maybe. Uh, but it's, I mean, even at this point, I'm getting like 17, sometimes 16. Uh, and then I'm losing like 20 and 21, sometimes more. It's a real tilter, not going to lie. But this is okay. Get caught with your pants down, press R, everything's all Gucci. Although I'm probably going to die here still. If I don't die, I don't know how I'm not. Okay, I'm actually alive. No, I'm dead. <laughs> okay. Good, like, finally. I mean, I was, I had no business surviving that one. Yeah, losing two people there is not great. And Brand roamed up for some reason. I'm not sure why Brand was there, but yeah. I don't know why Brand's here either, but I'm going to try and kill him. I'm not sure if that's going to work. No, it's not. Almost got the Tarak Ultimate down, though. Uh, I don't, I mean, Ez was on 10% health at my Krugs. Yeah, just, just chilling, waiting for me, as you do. That's something which I, the better players I play against, I find this happens more often, is they wait for me in weird places. But yeah, this one, I guess we were just all getting blasted. I mean, we're, we're three kills to 14 at that point. I'm one and four. Uh, people are surviving on one hit as well, which is a little bit unfortunate. So just, a, just maybe one or two more seconds I could actually do stuff here. But yeah, we were getting destroyed this game. So I was just trying to, I feel like when you're losing really hard, you have one of two options. You either want to go really aggro to try and just catch people and get stuff going. Or you want to chill out. And when I'm playing Zin, I prefer to go for that first option just to go really aggro and try and just make stuff. Especially if the enemy team is pretty squishy. And we almost had like a really sick comeback this game as well. We, I mean, you can you can see like we were actually kind of back into this game until that point right there, where we probably should have like hard engaged on Tiari there because she got caught with the Tarek stun, but we we didn't get that hard engaged. So, I mean, we were always just staring down the barrel right there in that game. So the fact that we lost it, I'm pretty happy that we almost won it essentially. Anyway, another Zing game, Kel Surprise. Exact same path as I've been talking about throughout this whole video and even my previous Road to Master video. Where you go for the invade, and I should have had first blood here. This is pathetic. Like, to survive on that health, that's very unlucky. And also, I missed my W there, so double unlucky right there. Well, not luck, actually, just terrible <laughs> play, I guess, from that perspective. But in general, unfortunate. But I'm 3-1-4 and four right here. We're doing, well, I don't know. Things are a little bit, yeah, this game. Was that an accurate description? I think that's, an, you guys know what I'm saying when I, when, I, when I go, yeah, right? Yeah, that's exactly what's going down here. Uh, this game, who we, is this the one when we're playing versus, okay. So we're playing with, I think, I just want to double check that, yes, this is. So this Velcos here is Azap. Now, you guys may have heard of Azap. He streams on Twitch. Uh, he's a Velkos one trick. He was challenger, I think, at one point, and he just got master tier as well. Like I was actually playing with this guy when he was two and two in his promos, and we won. It's not this game. I don't know if we win this game or not. I can't remember. But we this 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 is a good Velkos basically. So I'm I'm hoping he can carry me essentially. Uh, but no, we, we're doing fine. And even though. This is a really common score, honestly, when I'm playing Zin. Even though I do like to play for that kind of carry style, I often have a lot of deaths when I'm playing Zin because I just go really hard all the time. So, 5 and 6 is a pretty common score line. Honestly, 6 is quite a low amount of deaths, really, for me playing Zin, but that's cool. We're just, we're just rubber banding right here, which honestly is fine. One win, one loss, one win, one loss, one win, one loss. It's fine, really. Uh, it's not me climbing but I feel like at least I'm not losing really hard <laughs> so there's that which is okay 
Uh, now this is a bit greedy right here because mid lane could collapse, top lane could collapse. I don't know. I don't really know why I'm invading here because this is just going to end pretty ugly, pretty awfully for me. Uh, the, well, the reason why I'm invading is because we can win this fight. So let's see if we can win it. Jack, I go down first, then Jax goes down afterwards. GP now has double buffs right here, so maybe we can get this one going down. If there was something to turn this fight, it would be the double buffs. But it's not to be. I, I shouldn't have invaded when my lane was being my laners are being pushed in like that. If we had have reacted faster as well though, I mean that two v that three v three was honestly really close and I was pretty much just caught with my pants down, so that was pretty close to going well for us, but still you have to look at the lanes. If you're invading when your laners aren't in position to help you, you just die. Which is what happened to me there. And this play right here, this is me sacrificing myself to try and save my uh, my bot lane, specifically my AD carry. I don't think that we're going to get out of that one alive, so I just jump in and try and save, try and save Sivir, which works for a few seconds <laughs> until Ramus charges her down and uh, flash headbutts her. Uh, and Azir goes for the big old sexy play and, well, pretty much balls it up, but that's okay. Uh, this was another rough one. 50 kills, the team has 50 kills in 35 minutes. That is absolutely bonkers yeah we had a uh this game we were pretty tilted my teammates were very tilted this game and they just ran at the enemy team and just kept dying over and over and silly old me was trying to fight with them and then i die as well but not to say that it's their fault that we lose or anything like that it's just like when your team is tilted you get really blood bloodthirsty games and at least in my experience in my maybe my perspective here I could be wrong thinking this, but if my team is just going to be fighting and I know they're prone to being tilted, I tend to just go aggressive with them because they'll just like die by themselves if I don't. Like they're going to go in anyway. I may as well try and increase their chances of being successful because, yeah. Anyway, moving on. Rek'Sai, I, I went through a period of time where I was just banning Rek'Sai like every game. Uh, and the reason for that was because Rek'Sai was the go-to champion for master tier players who were smurfing and trying to get into master tier on their smurf. So Rek'Sai was really hard for me to play against. She's one of these champions that can just farm, but also fight at like any stage of the game and just really screw you over. So I hate playing versus only you're kind of seeing it this game a little bit as well. By the way, if you're looking at, wondering about how to play Xin Zhao in these team fights, it's essentially what I do is just jump in on a carry or someone that I want to isolate and kill and then just press R on them. Uh, but the Rek'Sai wasn't enough to carry this game. At least I hope we're going to win this one. If you look in our base, there are a lot of minions right there. But we're actually overstaying here really hard. We should just back off. Like you, saw, I backed off like 10, 20 seconds ago. We should have backed off altogether at that point. Because look at our base. Our base is just getting destroyed here. Uh, what a... Whoa, okay, this is a sick flank right here. Okay, we weren't in position at all for that shit, but that was an that was a honestly that's probably the best engage that you're gonna ever do on Zin. If you can find a, like a way in behind the enemy carries, and then you ult them, like not only do you isolate the enemy carry by pushing them into your team, but then you also spread the rest of the carries away from them. That was a pretty sick engage. I actually think we could have won that, but I guess. Maybe I need to ping more or something because they weren't. They, they de my team definitely was not on the same page as me there. Anyway, we're rubber banding again. We're back to zero LP, but we can win this one. I'm confident we can win this one. Going for the classic buff, <laughs> wolf buff, gank. Although this time I actually took my Gromp as well because there wasn't really anything happening earlier on. So I was just like, okay, I'll take my Gromp and then I can come in later. Which I did. And we still get the old cheeky first bar. 10 kills to 10. When I am a four, one, and three. I mean, if you if you saw the uh, the scores there on my team, we should be doing a little bit better. But all I can do is do as well as I can, and that's what I plan on doing. So press R, soak up the Syndra ultimate. I don't know why she presses R on me when my ultimate's down, but that's partially, I guess, Zindal being a relatively new champion. People don't really know how he works so much still. So if you've got your ultimate on, you can't die basically if people are attacking you from outside your ultimate range. So yeah, I don't die. And then we managed to win this one, carry this one through. 
And that's good because that's probably a game we could have lost pretty easily. You could you could see my team was fairly tilted there as well. Uh, but yeah, at least we don't we don't want to lose games on zero LP because then you risk demotion. We don't want to get demoted. No sorry, Bob. Anyway, I tried to do kind of like the standard jungle path that I do on Zin, but on Javan. This game Javan uh, Zin was banned, but it doesn't really work as well because Javan's just not as good as not as good as Zin in these situations. So in these little fights. Jarvan isn't quite as strong as him. But that's a nice play there. Get a cheeky first blood. The game is pretty even up until this point though. We decide to go for the Baron play, which is always risky when the enemy jungler is alive. Who gets it? I fuck up my smite so bad there, and I'm tilted at myself. We 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 that, that we turned at the worst point as well. I thought we were just gonna burst it down. Uh Baron plays like this in Sonic are so bad, because that something like that always happens. It's just miscommunication. I, I fucked it up anyway, so whatever. But still, my roll on Jarvan, jump into the enemy backline. Survive as long as I can. Try and trap Cogmore in my ultimate. Uh, and yeah, it kind of works. This vein is just mopping up right here, which is really nice. Because I, I had a long string of games where my AD carries were just like... Allergic to actually carrying the game. And this guy did manage to carry. Now, we've been rubber banding pretty much this whole episode. But I did play a crap ton of games, so I'm just going to skip forward to... Uh, the peak that I got this season because spoiler alert I didn't manage to get master tier but I did get very close so this is a game that happens um, right before I get the highest elo that I've ever had this season uh, and when I win this one I'll be at diamond one 94 LP so I got really bloody close to, di to master tier and I'm just gonna rant a little bit here because it was kind of my, my climb in diamond one was actually really frustrating because once I got past like 50 LP, I was getting about 14 LP for a win, and I was losing like 21, 22 when I lost. But I was still playing with Master Tier players and like high Diamond One players, so like the games were as difficult as my LP, my rating would suggest. But I wasn't getting rewarded for them as much. And considering the fact I I got to 94 LP, and the fact that I played maybe almost a hundred games probably. Uh, in this past week or two if I was getting the same LP as I was losing I worked it out uh, I would have I would have got master tier now that's not really a good excuse to not get it and I'm not saying that's the reason I didn't get it because if I'd played better I would have got it and I'm sure there are other people who are in the same boat as me but still got it so it's not an excuse for not getting master tier that's on me it's just me ranting about it being a frustrating climb because it, I don't know, it just felt like I was trying so hard, like two steps forward, two steps back, you know. Uh, it was really annoying, even though I was winning more than I was losing. So that was difficult, really, to kind of play through that. But anyway, that's the peak I got this season. I got to D194 LP. I should have left myself more time to get Master Tier. Next season, I'll get it, so you got that to look forward to at least. Thanks so much for watching. I'm sorry I couldn't do you guys proud. I feel like I'm the only one who didn't get Master Tier. Feels bad, man. Take thumbs up if you like to subscribe to more League of Legends content. I'll be doing loads of Season 8 stuff for you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a good day, and I'll see you in my next.